How many times should an athlete approach you before you make a commitment with them? What's the best way for you for for them to contact you as well? I mean, if they want to contact, like email is great and video is great. You know, like mm -hmm. so, I would rather see video than just. I know sometimes people send um, emails or letters from their high school coach or their club coach. You know, it's like saying that they're a great player. I mean, we read all that stuff, and that's really sweet and. Um, I appreciate the opinion of the coach, but you know we're going to make decisions based on our own opinions. So it's really if they send us stuff and their video is in, is embedded in that or is a part of that, and we can watch it, and then we find that to be interesting, then we'll go see them live. If we see them live, and then we pay attention and do some background on who they are as a person and all that, and they're interesting to us, then we'll we'll start to bring them to campus and. From there, spend a lot of time with them, and then we'll know by the end of one visit, I think, on campus whether or not we want it. Um, mm. But if they're not enticing to us, or we don't like the way they compete, or we get some bad news from them and the, um, from their head coach or whatever, their, their coach and their club team or high school team, then we'll not even engage. Mm. Got it, got so it. It just depends on how good they are and what kind of people they are. Gotcha. So, so how many times to, to should I should I you know contact you like a couple times a year, two three times a year? I mean, uh, if I student, I didn't like I say you know I see people trying to send emails every yeah. week, which is not. I mean, I don't recommend that you know <laughs> because that's yeah crazy. yeah. But so you're, you're like, are you, are you asking like at what point does it become annoying? Is that really what you're asking? Correct. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I think the once a week is a little aggressive for people. I mean, we still read the emails. We still pass them around as a staff. I mean, there's certain kids that we get emails from. And like when it comes, we like as a staff, we're like, oh, we got our email from so-and-so this week. So, mm -hmm. you know, and she's there. There's good players that do that. And there's some, there's some players that don't. I think I think the thing I want to say this. If you send one email and you're very good, we don't need more emails. But if you send an email and you're not very good, um, you're not going to convince us you're very good by sending more emails. Mm -hmm. And so I think I think we'll know pretty quick uh, how interested we are from the first time we get to watch some video to see if you're worth following up on. But like mm -hmm. I think I think recruits think that they're going to convince us that they're very good because they send us so much. So many emails. So much. I don't think it's just necessary. Now, if we're talking about communicating back and forth and trying to develop a relationship, like if they're of age, I mean, then I think it's, you know, once every couple of weeks or once a week is probably appropriate. Mm -hmm. But uh, the um, weekly emails with the kids that we know and they know because we've expressed this, that we're not interested in them. 